Exactly counters with the head scissors. Cortez takes the bridge. You can hear a pin drop almost in this packed hall here at uh, Lincoln, waiting for these two to really take a few risks and start the action that they're willing to see. It'll happen, I can promise them. Just under a minute to go in this first round of six. back in his corner right on the bell of round one. John Cortez of Dulwich, London. Great boy, this fellow, 10 stone exactly. He was an amateur at the age of 13, only one year older than his opponent here this afternoon. 10 pro in the 70s, early 70s, full time. Trains with gymnastics mostly. Second round two. Cortez, uh, a fit, physical fitness uh, fanatic, really. I think his opponent is Keith Haywood, too, as well. Round two, five to go, no score. Cortez, London, Haywood, Dartford, Kent. And it's Cortez underneath there, trying the further shoulder press. He's going to try it again if he's got room. Hasn't got room. Five, two, three, four, five. to bet on this one over this next uh, five rounds these two very evenly matched despite the fact that uh, Haywood is two stone heavier that's Haywood in the lighter trunks there on the left <laughs> so good. now it's whip if you to the wrong end of an Irish whip, you generally go all the way, but John Cortez, no, he stops halfway in the handstand position and comes back for more. <laughs> Haywood's legs there. Anything to stop Cortez continuing with that move that leg drag was trying for. Over the top, shoulder press now. Danger, Cortez. Very great danger here. He can't get out of it, and Haywood gets the first pull in round two. And it just took him just over two minutes to get it. Brian Crabtree, your mas master of ceremonies. In one minute, 55 seconds of round two, the first fall of the contest goes to Hurricane Hayward. Chief Hurricane Hayward. And uh, you'll be able to see in a minute why he's... Uh, Nicknamed Hurricane. Very, very fast man for a 12-stone boy. Indeed. Keith Haywood, we're going to see a lot more of him in the pro rings in this country in the future. So with Haywood leading by one fall to nil, at the start of round three, with four rounds to go, here at the Drill Hall Lincoln, John Cortez, now giving away two stone, has got to come back into this fairly soon. 
one thing about a route like this, of course, you will never get any form of uh, rule bending at all. Yes, I can't see either of them starting it. Both true rustling skill men. So it's Haywood with that backhammer on Cortez, left arm. But it's Haywood still with the double-handed wrist lever. rather disappointed myself in seeing Haywood get ahead, a heavier man get ahead so early as round two. This uh, actual bout, Haywood versus Cortez, was scheduled way back in uh, Bedworth near Coventry uh, last summer sometime, and the reason why it couldn't go on was that uh, John Cortez had cut his trouble in his right knee. He's now got that all settled. He's not giving him any trouble. So here it is on again, finally today. One of the ones I've been waiting for. Again, Hayward, the way he backs his feet away, it's incredible to stop that leg grab. But when he goes for it, Cortez can't do it. He comes back to back over the top, double leg Nelson. Very neat move indeed by Cortez. Can he hold his hold? Here's how. Already, we see... The man who's two stone lighter, Johnny Cortez from Dodge, London, getting back into the boat with an equalizing fall in the following round. In one minute, 50 seconds of round three, the equalizing fall goes to John Cortez. And a very, very good one it was, too, when you remember that he's giving away poundage here. Three rounds gone now, and just one fall each, three rounds to go. Second round four. Now, can Cortez stay out of trouble with the strength holes here? Because he must be in a bit against the strength. There's the Hurricane Hayward in action. The speed of that move. This man over his shoulder in a split second. Four Nelson, Hayward. Fingers not clasped at the back of the neck. You notice that Hayward's fingers are overlapping, but not clasped. John Cortez can break that. I can't see it. He's trying everything he knows, but he can't break it. There you are, the hands there. Overlapped. But the fingers not interlocked. Still the full Nelson on. And Cortez is going to try something else. Yes. <laughs> Turned the tables beautifully. Very, very quick move indeed. Quick butt and took Hayward completely by surprise, but he's out of the full Nelson. And again, the same move. shout and scream too much when there's tremendously skillful action in the ring. They, they do applaud a neat escape or a neat move.
He's got the folded leg there, he would uh, probably reach for the other one if he can and get the figure four. There it is. Now he's going to try for the side surfboard, reaching with his left free left hand to the under the chin of Cortez to try and bring him over behind him and onto his knees for a backward hit. There it is, the side surfboard. He wasn't quite up there. No, can't quite get up there. But, uh, now he's made it. And he only wants one score now, Haywood, to win this first contest of the afternoon tournament. But he didn't get it. In fact, Cortez almost tried to get away with a full press there. Plus press. <laughs> it's disappointed he didn't get that counter in, I think. Full Nelson Cortez this time. And if he'll hold it as long as his opponent did. Cortez released him and hoped he would just stay there for that split second, but Haywood knew that trick. And with less than a minute to go in round four, dodged out of the way very quickly. Some really good stuff by these two men now. Head man. Five, two, three, four. And referee Dave Reese from Shrewsbury has had no problem at all with either man. Not a single warning of any kind, not even private. Not even a reminder. Men of this skill don't have to worry about raw bending. Less than 30 seconds to go in the fourth. but he's left that arm lever against the joint a little too late to run the bell. Let's have a close-up look at Keith Hayward, if we can, here. We first saw in March of this year, Dartford Kent is where he comes from, 12 stone exactly, British schoolboy champion, junior champion, London light and welterweight eight times titles, Southern area, lightweight, welterweight, and middleweight, eight times. British senior welterweight champion, four times. How about that for a, an unpaid ranks record? Secondary, and as he started as an amateur, as I told you earlier, at the age of 12, he made the Olympic team in Montreal in 1976. And believe me, this guy is going to be a great asset to the pro ranks of the uh, freestyle wrestling game. Two rounds to go as we start round five. Remember these two men, Haywood and Cortez, one fall each. Oh, beautiful one there by Cortez, but not quite heavy enough to, to land the cross press to, uh, to follow up that beautiful move off the ropes. Very, very quick indeed, and could have brought a surprise there. just about but this time he would keep the other leg well out of the way too so that he can hold his balance <laughs> and that's a way out beautifully taken but very near the ropes indeed in fact into the middle rope unlucky for Hayward there could have uh, had Cortez in trouble if he had a little more mat to pay for. Again. Cortez has always been one of the fastest men in the ring since I've known him, and uh, he's got um, somebody to match him here today. Here 
Cortez had time to change sides. Both of them had time to change sides. But it's Cortez coming on top of them and with an arm lever. Head scissors counter by Hayward. And both men in a hold. I don't think they'll they'll probably agree to, to call this a stalemate, stalemate, I should think. No, it is Cortez who's had has been left to worry about how to get out of the head scissors. Can he get his own knees onto the feet of his opponent and separate the legs for a split second? No. Nope. He's got his left instep across the Hayward feet now. He's got two minutes to go in this fifth round to try and make this escape. The turn nicely, turned the other way, completely to what he would expect it. Whoever wins this one will know that he's been in a bout. He would reach in for Nelson, just about gets it again, but the hands overlapped. The interlock fingers grabbed very quickly by Cortez. Turn. This man is now down, going for the arm lock. Just one minute to go in the fifth. And it's still the arm lock to Cortez. going for the side head back to try and counter this move on his uh, left arm. Cortez wins it with just about 25 seconds to go. Hayward over the top and that's the way out of the, an arm lock and it works. So it's Hayward in charge at the moment now with that double-handed wrist lever on Cortez's right arm with 12 seconds left. see two wrestlers shake hands after each round like that full of admiration for their opponents in both cases and both of them stepping back on the order for break John Cortez here John Cortez from Dulwich he um, had this cartilage trouble doesn't seem to have been taking too much toll this the afternoon's the say. Really a terrific performance here against a man two stone heavier one round to go one fall each Haywood in the light trunks now. Can he make his two stone extra count here? C Cortez going on the attack right from his bell. Nicely <laughs> caught that arm very nicely indeed. Head scissors. Haywood out of the head scissors almost before he was in it. Oh, there's tremendous stuff by both these men here. Really tremendous. Double leg grab, the figure four, leg lock now to Haywood. <laughs> Trying to spin his man out, but it didn't work. Haywood falls on him all the way down. Cross press, Cortez not heavy enough again to try that cross press. And now the second or third time he's tried it to no avail. Cortez really breathing harder than I've ever seen him after five and a half rounds or so. And off the top, over the back, and very neat double leg Nelson there by Hayward. He timed that beautifully, but Cortez manages to get the shoulder blades off in time.
again. The rollover, attempting for the sh shoulder press at the side there, but ran out of room. They were trying the other way this time on a waist hold. Reversed. And lifts his man just the same, but forced back into the ropes. And the shoulder press that might have come had no chance. Cortez no worried about attacking, going all the time, flat out for it. No backpedaling about him at all. No try. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One of his special moves, that Cortez, that flying drop kick from a distance, but this time he mistimed it, missed his opponent, and landed not too well at all. Nice trip. Nice trip. Now, can Cortez turn a van over the reverse double leg Nelson right on the ropes, very near to the ropes, and both men now. <laughs> got to be a stalemate. A couple of minutes to go in this part now. Still one fall each. Nothing between them at all, which says a lot for Cortez because he's so much the lighter. Speedy gets on the ropes from one move to another. Haywood is really tremendous. And Johnny Cortez is no slouch either. Caught on the way, side headlock and wrist lever. Goes for the arm lock again, Cortez gets it. This is what caused Haywood a lot of trouble earlier. And the flying drop kick this time he landed. Now. Now, just exactly how hard did that land and where? Both up at nine, nine and a half, and it's Cortez going in on the attack again. Trying to get his man's shoulders down. There it is, the folding press is on, but now he was spun out before he could get it. And Cortez now is so weak, he's got just a minute to go. And Cortez very much weakened now. <laughs> Slowly he's moving around the ring, really breathing hard now. And why not? But what a classic contest this has been. Whoever wins it, really great bout. Cross press now to Cortez. Has he got the strength to, and the, or the weight to hold this man down? No, the bridge gets him off with 25 seconds left in the contest. And it looks very like a draw now unless one of them can get a very quick score here. Hardly any time, 15 seconds. And it's caught here to the top of the folding press from the side, but he gets caught in the head scissors on the way. And there's just six seconds now. Five, four, three, and it's all gone. It's a draw, one for each. But what a magnificent bout, and listen to that applause. Now, I'll bet you that uh, Brian Crabtree, your martial ceremony, has asked for a special hand for both these men with this one-on-one -on -one draw, a magnificent wrestling show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after both wrestlers getting one fall apiece after six exciting rounds, the referee's decision is a draw. Joe Cortez and Hurricane Heathley. This man is out of this world. He's been he a professional. <laughs> He's been a professional for under a year, and well, I'd just like to wrestle him again, just for the sheer joy of wrestling him. And <laughs> and you know, next time. <laughs>